Hi, it's Brian Byro, and welcome to a Breakthrough Chat. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite principles, which is called blame busting. Now, blame is the most destructive word in the language of teams and families. Blame kills teams. And there's a reason why blame makes no sense in a very practical sense. Because when you think about it, is blame about the past, the present, or the future? It's always about the past. Can you do anything about the past? No. So whenever you're in blame, where are you? You're in the past. The opportunity lies in the now to lead to a better next, next and future. So the concept of blame busting is something that's very rich in my, in my experience in working with organizations because when organizations get beyond blame, they create an environment where people are willing to take good risks, where people are excited about innovating, they're excited about creating. And recently there's been some buzz in the news in the sports world that really caught my heart. And it was about the greatest basketball player in the world named LeBron James. Now, LeBron James is a boy who grew, grew as a young man, grew up in Akron, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. And he started his career, played for seven years in Cleveland. And then the big buzz several years ago was that LeBron switched to Miami in order to play with some other great players to win a championship. And he was absolutely defiled in the city of Cleveland. In fact, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team wrote a public letter published in the papers talking about how awful LeBron James was, what well, James was, what a, a terrible role model, how selfish, just absolutely defiled him publicly. Well, this year, of course, in this summer, LeBron James was out there thinking about, uh, thinking about what he would do as a free agent. The sport allows you to move wherever you like. And it really took me by surprise, and I think an awful lot of people by surprise, by not going back to Miami, but instead deciding to go back to his home, to go to Cleveland. And the words he said on the day that he let the world know that he was going back home really talked about blame busting. In fact, I say it's, what he really did was he chose the high road because the view was much better. And what he said was, who am I to hold a grudge? Can you imagine someone printing your name to millions of people and talking about how terrible you are and then that person coming back to you, you coming back to that person and saying, who am I to hold a grudge? So I saw blame busting on the part of LeBron James that I thought, boy, this young man can teach us all a lot. But I also saw it from Dan Gilbert, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Can you imagine having done that and then coming back to work with that person? And what he said also made great sense. He said, can you imagine living your whole life and being judged by your one big mistake? Wow. The opportunity to be a blame buster of others and yourself is an opportunity to get out of the past and move on to the now. In the city of Cleveland, Ohio, they are excited because somebody chose the high road where the view is much better. And they deserve to have a great opportunity to win a championship, if nothing more than being a shining example from LeBron James and Dan Gilbert of the power of blame busting.